Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our uh, tutorial videos in which we demonstrate the new features included on the latest Studio One update, uh, which is version 5.4. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the chord display. Okay, um, if we go to view and we look for chord display right here, okay, this window opens. Okay, so first of all, uh, this is a function that I believe it is extremely helpful if you, just like me, are not a keyboard player and you're not very fast with the name of the chords. Uh, you don't have a lot of music notation or music theory background. This will help you learn in a, I guess, a visual way to, to it'll, let, it'll help you learn the name of the chords, okay? So it, it's very simple. Um, by the way, the screen is resizable, so you can make it as big or as small as you want. Uh, I encourage you, if you have more than one monitor, more than one screen, you could have that on a secondary screen and just make it as big as you can. So it has three options, chord track, input chord, or editor. We're gonna demonstrate uh, the use of the input chord in this case, um, but they all three work the same way. Now, what does this do? Okay, well, it says chord display, so it'll display the name of a chord. Now, which chord? Well, if you're in chord track, it'll display the name of the chord that's assigned to the chord track. If it's in the editor, it's in the editor. Now, if it's on the input chord, that means that it'll show the chord that you're playing at that time, at that second, at that moment. Okay, so right now, let me close this for a second. I have a track here, it's, a, it's an instrument track, okay? And uh, it, and, and uh, I have it so that my uh, MIDI controller, my MIDI keyboard is sending MIDI information to this. So, you know, if I play any of the keys, you'll see there's MIDI information to get in there, okay? Now, let's go back to view and then we'll open our chord display. So, let's say that, you know, I'm not very sharp with the name of the chords, but I'm in the middle of a rehearsal and the bass player wants to know which chord am I playing. Well, guess what? You simply play your chord. There it is. I'm playing three notes. This is a triad. So this is an F chord, F major chord. Now, if I modify that chord a little bit, boom, now that's an F minor chord. What I did, I literally just took one of the notes and made it flat. That's about it. So it went from F major to F minor. Now, if I'm not fast with music theory, with music notation, and someone asks me this, I'll be like, well, one second, let me just go ahead and see the notes so I know the name of the chord. So I guess this is pretty cool if, once again, if you're in a situation that you're rehearsing, you're practicing with the band or, uh, or other, just other artists, and you'll be in a situation in which people ask you, hey, can you tell me the name of that chord? Uh, let's say guitar players asking you, hey, what's that chord that you just played? Well, if you don't know, you simply play it and boom, it'll tell you the name of the chord. Now, um, I played, you know, that's a C major and then C minor. It's not just triads. You can actually play seventh chords like, like that, C major seven, you know, or that. And, you know, you can play really crazy chords like something like that, you know, uh, D minor 13, 11, whatever that is, right? So... The, the Studio One is very smart in recognizing the chords just by seeing what you're actually playing uh, with your MIDI controller, okay? Um, this is especially useful when there is um, there are instruments or musicians that have instruments that play, let's say, uh, one note at a time, like the bass, like the bass player. Um, if you tell them the name of the chord, like, you know, that or that, C minor, well, guess what? Now the bass player knows that he or she could play a C note and it'll be fine. It'll, it'll work good with this C minor chord, okay? So that's the uh, chord display uh, included in the new update uh, from Prishono Studio One version 5.4. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using...
All of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.